In this episode of Teach Me Something, Long's business partner, Mike Bernier, teaches Long about the history of boxing. No rounds, no rules. Basically, you had to quit or die. Will Long learn something new from Mike? We will find out on this episode of Welcome to Teach Me Something, where our experts have two minutes to teach something new. I'm your host, Jesse Zagorski. Meet Long Dome. Long knows a lot about everything, but specifically real estate and leadership. Long has sold thousands of houses, but there's one thing you should know about him. Every day, he is committed to learning something new. And if he doesn't learn something new, he has to read a book for at least 20 minutes. Long loves to learn, but he hates reading books. Well, that's not totally true, but you get the idea. And Long has a short attention span, because his brain is always thinking, which is why our contestants only have two minutes. Let's see if Long can learn something new on Teach Me Something. Hi, so today I'm sitting with my business partner, Long Doan. Mike Bernier is the president, co-owner, real estate broker, and sales manager of Realty Group in Minnesota, which makes him business partners with Long for over seven years. Mike is also a former top 1% agent in the state of Minnesota and currently serves as a professional real estate coach for Club Wealth. All right, so we're doing something fun today, which is we've got business partners. We got Mike Bernier, who has been business partners with Long. Mike, how long have you been, been t- partners for now? Uh, it seems like many, many years. Uh, no, actually, we became business partners in April of 2014. April of 2014. I love it. Okay, so going way back. So given that they are business partners, and I, I asked Mike, is it going to be easy or hard to teach Long something? And Mike, your response was what? I teach him something every day. This is not the new. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there we go. So, so uh, we're going to set a timer for two minutes, and uh, then we'll, uh, we'll just get rocking and rolling. You, you ready, Mike? I'm ready whenever you are. All right. Two minute timer is set. Let's hit it. All right. So long, you know, my history, you know, before real estate or actually during my real estate career, I was also a competitive boxer. So today I thought, what can I teach long about that? He may not know enough about, and I'm going to teach you about the history of boxing. Are you ready for this? Let's do it. All right. So you may or may not know long that boxing originated in ancient Egyptian art back all the way dated from 1350 BC. They also found evidence of boxing people fist fighting with gloves for competitive sport back in 1500 BC in ancient Crete. What you may not know is boxing became introduced into the 23rd Olympiad in 16 or 688 AD. Uh, no rounds, no rules. Basically you had to quit or die to win. And that's how you lost. To win, you just had to stay on your feet longer than the other guy. Now, ancient Rome had also adopted boxing as a spectator sport, but here's what I wanted to teach you. Boxing disappeared from ancient Rome when weapons became sort of the thing of of gladiators. And it disappeared all the way into 1681 into prize fighting that was introduced into London, the no rules division that once again, you had to basically either quit or die. That's how you lost. Now, you may find this a surprise, maybe you won't, But modern modern boxing, actually the word boxing didn't even appear till 1681. Modern boxing really came from illegal fight clubs in poor areas. So basically that's what was a a million dollar plus industry, poor areas, poor people fighting to survive. And that culture today still rings true. Many world champions came from the poorest of conditions. Now, why am I teaching you about boxing? Because I was a boxer, still love it. And I think it has a lot of great discipline lessons for life and business. Long, there you go. I love it with five seconds left. That was amazing. Mike, I have to imagine there's no way that Long knew that. Long, did you learn something? I definitely learned something. Mike is like a walking encyclopedia, so <laughs> I, I didn't read this one. I didn't know anything about it. Okay, cool. So, 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 but let's, let's tie it in. We got a couple minutes. So, so, because I love what you said, Mike. So, so you tied this into real estate. So, yeah. so, What's the connection for you as a boxer to transition to real estate? What's the connection for you? Well, it'd be really easy to say that, you know, hard work, dedication gets you, you know, to the championship. That's, but that's too easy. What I would say the real tie in is this I watch many fighters come into a gym on their first day, and I'd see two types of people. I'd see somebody with amazing talent that you watch the way that they move, the way that they responded, their reflexes, their athleticism. You're like, that person's going to be great. Then you'd see the other guy that would come in that had none of that. Like you're just awkward, slow, had no real talent. And you're like, this person's not going to make it. But what you would see is the person with the work ethic often would be the guy without the talent. The person with the talent relied so much on the talent that over the years, the person with the work ethic 
actually surpassed them. And I, I relate that to real estate because I see it all the time, agents coming into the business going, man, I just don't have a lot of talent. I'm not good with people. I'm not good with these scripts and what to say and what to do. But that constant improvement mentality, that growth mindset is what makes champions. That's my tie-in. Oh, I, I love it. And, and Long, which one do you think Mike is? If, did, did he come in with talent or work ethic? Well, it's crazy thing, Mike, he has both. So that's why he is where he's at, man. That, that does explain all the bruises I do have on my body as well. <laughs> <laughs> really good, Mike. So sometimes when I teach uh, Long a boxing lesson, it's different than what we talked about today. So... Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I thought you were going to tie it in that really it's about, you, you said twice, boxing was all about just all you got to do is be the last person standing on your feet. I thought that was maybe the tie into real estate, right? No, no. You know what? And it's a good advice. The, the reality is you got to not quit before the other person does. And that's going to make you, that's part of the dedication and work ethic. But like I said, I think people are so hard on themselves because they don't hit the ground running with like uber success right away. It's about learning to have that growth mindset that you get a little bit 1% better every single day and you keep focusing on the process, not the results. And eventually the results become pretty dang good. Yeah, I love it. So, so long before I wrap up, um, obviously you learned something. So no reading for you today. How does this tie in for, you, for your life? Yeah, I mean, I agree with Mike. At the end of the day, it's, it's not where you start out. So some people might have more talent. They might be ahead of you in life or might be set up better to succeed, but it's the one who outworks somebody. I love it. All right, guys, this is fun. I learned something new. Mike? You got it. See you later. See you guys. Produced by the Agent Collective Media Network.